Welcome to video one, dynamic activation. This video is vitally important if you really want to get the most out of your practice session. You know, if you think of your body as a car, you wouldn't just start your car and then start driving at 60 miles an hour, right? And if you do, hey, I've done it, you know you probably shouldn't. Eventually, if you run that car without getting the oil running through the car, something's gonna snap. And then you're stranded on the side of the road having to call AAA, and that's no good. And that's exactly why this video is so important. Tennis can be a brutal game on the body. And if you jump on the court without doing these pretty fun and easy exercises, you're asking for trouble. However, if you do these exercises, you'll be faster, more explosive, more engaged, and you'll have a lot more fun on the court. So without further ado, let's jump into dynamic activation and I'll see you on the court. This routine is going to warm up your body. And it's going to get your synovial fluid going. Hey, I just learned that word. How does it sound? Uh, that's the stuff that lubricates your joints. So if you have any knee issues, hip or shoulder, any joints, this routine is key because it's going to get your body ready to perform at the highest level it possibly can. So here's how to start. This first one is really good to stretch out your hip flexors, which tend to get tight if you sit down a lot. So just stand nice and tall good balance and just bring your knee up towards your chest. Now it's important when you're doing these stretches that you don't overdo it. You should feel a nice gentle stretch and really ease into this one. So go ahead and do 10 stretches per side. Next we'll stretch out the old quadriceps and reach up with our opposite hand like this. Again, and this goes for all of these exercises, these should never feel strained. It's just a nice easy stretch and you're really just warming up your body here, so there's no need to push it. You're gonna be shocked by how your body feels after you've completed this warm-up routine. Again, just stand nice and tall, reach back to get a gentle little stretch in the quad, standing tall, reaching up towards the sky with your opposite hand. By the way, if you're feeling self-conscious about doing these, I had a good friend, Rob, who hurt his back, tell me he has no problem looking goofy if it means that he gets to stay on the court, and he's absolutely right. All right, moseying right along, and next we'll fire up your calves. You know, I was 50 pounds overweight as a kid, but one of the benefits of this was my legs had to work a lot harder because they're carrying around a lot of extra weight. So I've always had pretty strong legs. Your calf strength is really gonna help you be on your toes when you're practicing or you're playing. So go ahead and do 15 of these, holding for a second or so at the top. Moving on, let's open up your hips a little. And if you just visualize kind of lifting your leg over a chair here, or if you're a dog finding the fire hydrant, uh, you can do this kind of walking forward and then do the same thing moving backward in opposite direction. Nothing crazy, just easy circles. Again, 10 per side. All right, let's get the hamstrings nice, easy straight leg kicks here. And I know I sound like a broken record, but you don't want to start off um, really fast here. Just be nice and easy. You don't need to be here right away. Just a nice light stretch. And I like to imagine my favorite marching band fight song here, or if I'm in the mood, the Beatles. You know, I really like that band and I've always loved them. So uh, probably because my dad was a huge Beatle man maniac growing up. You know, Coach Dave, uh, one of my coaches in college, uh, was really like Yoda with a tennis racket. And he said, you don't play tennis to work out, you work out to play tennis. And that's true. Now that doesn't necessarily mean you need to run wind sprints in the sand or you know you need to do 100 medicine ball twists three times a week. Though that kind of stuff is not a terrible idea if you do it the right way. All right, you should be starting to feel pretty loose here. So finally, let's do a little bit more of a dynamic move and add a little hop. Bring in your other leg up towards your chest like this. Again, still warming up here. Don't try to jump through the roof just nice and easy. The idea here is really to get your body used to being off the ground, starting to feel more explosive and more powerful. All right, lower body at this point is probably feeling really good now. So we're almost good to go. Let's just do some nice, easy head rolls here. Chin in the middle of your chest and gently roll ear to shoulder. Now make sure you're only going in a half circle here. If you roll your head in a complete circle, people think you're that girl from The Exorcist and it feels really weird. Um, so half circles will do the trick here. All right, moving on, let's open up the shoulders and we'll do some small shoulder circles. And I can't tell you what a big difference these will make for you if you do them every time you go out to practice. So many people come to me and say, man, Ramon, I'm having shoulder problems. 
or I blew out my rotator cuff when I was 30 or whatever. And when I ask them if they warm up this way, they say, well, sometimes, but mostly they don't. And if you want to save a trip to the doctor, the two biggest things you can do are warm up your body properly and improve your technique so you're not doing anything weird to your shoulders. All right, now big shoulder circles here, really starting to get some heat in here and we're gonna need that heat. Your serve, by the way, will instantly get looser and more powerful if you get in the habit of doing these. Um, okay, now let's change direction, like a big old pterodactyl coming in for a landing here. All right, and finally, let's, let's get the wrists going here, just some mini wrist circles, forward and backward. You know, the cool thing about this routine is it only takes a couple of minutes to complete and it'll make you a lot more dynamic and explosive and really cut down on your chance of injury. It'll just make you feel better in every way. And it'll help you have a more productive practice session. So these are all obviously good things. And once you've completed this video, I'll see you in video two.